All right. My name is uh, Catherine Chimetero. I am the facilitator for this session. And I have two speakers with me today, Dr. Tarun Singh and Dr. Tanmay Mahapatra. I will start by introducing Dr. Tarun Singh. Dr. Tarun Singh is a public health professional working as the country director for an international NGO, Maternity Foundation. He has 10 years experience and has worked with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, IPE Global, University Research Company, UNICEF and USAID funded projects. Currently, he's working towards empowering skilled birth attendants and midwives through digital health platforms. With a team of experts, they have developed the Safe, Safe Delivery app. The app aims to create a low-cost digital solution for frontline healthcare workers and to save the lives of mothers and newborns. As the country director, he drafts creative concepts and successfully reaches out to healthcare workers with life-saving protocols to strengthen health systems. He is zealous in bringing about dynamic changes in the ways mothers and newborns are given priority above all. I'm now moving to Dr. Tanmai. Dr. Tanmai holds a PhD in epidemiology from Fielding School of Public Health, University of California, Los Angeles. He has published more than 160 reviewed publications in reputed international journals. He's a physician and public health expert with over two decades experience in research, measurement, evaluation, implementa implementations, and innovations in public health and epidemiology. Currently, he's the team lead of Care India Solutions for Sustainable Development at Bihar. He has conducted several research projects and generated evidence-based results to help in policy making. He is proficient in quantitative and qualitative management and analysis using SAS, STATA, and ATLAS. He also teaches methods of data management, statistical modeling, and analysis with interpretation from statistical and epidemiological viewpoints. He previously worked as a medical research director in Kolkata, a staff research associate in California, and an epidemiologist consultant in Kolkata. Now it is time for Dr. Tarun to start the presentation, and then he will hand over to Dr. Tanmai. Welcome, Dr. Tarun. Thank you so much, Catherine, uh, for providing the you know in, uh, the introduction and setting the tone uh, for the presentation. Uh, I also welcome my uh, co-author, Dr. Tanmay Mahapatra, who's joining us from the Bihar, where the study was conducted actually. And first, first and foremost, I I cannot miss to congratulate everyone on International Day of uh, International Day of Midwife, and uh, thank you so much VIDM for organizing this event. So today. Uh, Today we are going to share uh, uh, results of one of our pilot study, which uh, you know uh, Maternity Foundation Care India conducted jointly uh, in Bihar. It, it's on the user experience and effectiveness of safe delivery app in the nurses posted in public health facility of Bihar, India. So first, I will take you through the layout of the presentation. Uh, I'll start with the introduction. Uh, then Dr. Tanmay will take you through the evaluation methodology, implementation analysis plans. Then again, I'll come back and share the results, key finding and discussion points, and then we can have the questions uh, from the uh, all the joinees who have joined the, uh, the session. So see, what is safe delivery app? So this whole study is designed around this particular tool. So it's better to, you know, uh, better for, you know, everyone to understand what, is, what it is. So Safe Delivery app is a free mobile, app, mobile application uh, for smartphones and tablets. And it provides instant access to the labor room protocol to all the skilled birth attendants or healthcare worker using this application. Currently, uh, the uh, the clinical content designed in the, you know, available in the Safe Delivery app is around the basic emergency obstetric and neonatal care which means you know the key protocols 
to save the lives of mother and newborn at at facility level currently it is available in various languages english hindi indian languages basically all the regional hindi english uh, indian languages apart from that also it is available in the global uh, languages as well the beauty of this app is that this app is completely free uh, we work on the freemium model so no one need to pay for accessing the content or accessing any part you know use use of any module use of cert, you know getting the certificates nothing will cost you and also uh, for the peripheral level health settings uh, we have designed in a way that this app doesn't depend on uh, internet so even in the areas where internet is not there they can access safe delivery app and also once downloaded they can you know access all the modules all the content in a single go so safe delivery app uh, is is a very important tool and being taken up by government of india uh, in various curriculums and various uh, educational you know curriculums like bsc nursing how we started so maternity foundation in partnership with university of copenhagen and university of southern De uh, southern denmark developed the safe delivery app before you know going into the field we have tested the safe delivery app in ethiopia in 2014 15 where we have conducted a randomized control tri trial on knowledge uh, and skills on certain modules and we have found that you know uh, there is increase in more than 50% both in knowledge and the skill which actually you know uh, helped us in reaching out to the other countries so we have started reaching out to the countries where the need need was pretty high for these kind of tools and as india where you know maximum number of maternal deaths are happening right now because of the numbers you know the population size we have joined in hands with government of india and launched the indian version of safe delivery app when i say indian version it means that it is aligned with the government of india's guideline in december 2017 app was launched uh, with the objective to build, build the capacity of service provider on the latest clinical protocols whenever you know you start any project you know there is a need of evidence and we need to test the uh, test the tool in the real uh, setting so earlier we you know uh, uh, tested it in the ethiopian settings but it it was uh, very critical to know how it is behaving in the uh, indian setting so care india who are, which care india is already was already providing the technical support to government of bihar for the health system strengthening so we felt that as bihar is a area where you know the max, uh, the maternal and newborn health indicators are low and the you know we all feel that the internet literacy is little bit on the lower side so we we along with care india you know partnered and you know conducted this pilot study to explore the effectiveness of safe delivery app in bihar's public health facility the so two aspects were uh, were actually seen during the study the objectives were first was the usefulness of the sda how it is improving uh, you know helping in improving the knowledge of the staff and also what is the effect uh, you know how how they are taking it uh, as a learning experience what are the is it user friendly or not how it is behaving is it crashing what kind of technical problems they are facing what is good what is bad so that we try to capture in this study through the questionnaires now i'll just hand it over to dr tanmay mahapatra to take us through the design of this study evolution methodology and the assessment part over to you dr tanmay thank you tarun and thank you katrin and others as well as vigm for giving us the opportunity of discussing the findings of this study just to start with the methodology the assessment of this pilot was done in an evaluation mode which involved a pre post comparison of the knowledge of the nurses who are the delivery conductors participating in this intervention we did a baseline and then after approximately 3 months of the intervention completion an end line the as dr tarun mentioned that care india partnering with government of bihar was conducting a delivery service providers mentoring program since long it was called an amanat program and later on it was actually evolved into its amanat jyoti part so in this program different facility based labor room posted nursing professionals were trained to deliver better to give a better experience to the mother child diet the facilities where for some reason the amanat program was not running were the universe of this particular assessment 
to ensure that there is no such contamination of information coming from any other sources other than this particular app, this intervention. Thus, 33 basic emergency obstetric and newborn care level facilities belonging to six districts of Bihar were selected for this particular assessment of the study. Now, in these particular districts altogether, the study was implemented by during the, uh, the pre-intervention assessment. The data collection for the assessment was carried out by a staff, a cadre called nurse mentoring supervisors who were the principal implementer of the mentoring program as I mentioned and they used to visit the facilities in pairs for mentoring the staff. They in these non-mentored facilities in six pairs of NMS made an exposure visit to the selected facilities to give the introduction about the app. During the process they also administered a paper-based questionnaire, a tool comprising of 24 different questions covering all the selected four domains of this app selected out of 11 altogether. Those were active management of the third stage of labor, neonatal resuscitation process and management of maternal complications, mainly two, one regarding the postpartum hemorrhage, uh, the hemorrhage that happens after delivery for some reason, a major life-threatening aspect for the women delivering, as well as another condition where higher blood pressure and protein passing through urine, proteinuria, actually found to constitute a kind of a syndrome or syndrome complex called preeclampsia or in its advanced stage eclampsia. Regarding these, the post-intervention assessment, the same respective nurses revisited the facilities and followed the same procedure as it was followed during baseline. Based on the responses provided by the nurses regarding their knowledge regarding all these aspects, the information provided through the app, they were scored in a scale of 0 to 24 overall, whereas 0 to 8 point scale were used for the neonatal resuscitation and active management of third stage of labor. A 0 to 4 scale were used for the management of those two maternal complications the post-delivery hemorrhages as well as during delivery higher blood pressure and protein. Based on the distribution of this score, overall knowledge-based question answering performance of these nursing professionals were categorized into either poor if the score was less than 50% or average if the score were between 50% to 75% and good if it was beyond 75%. Altogether, there were selected 268 nurses listed to start with, but it was required that they should actually be participating in the pre-test question answer session, the post-test question answer session, as well as through intervention throughout the in between period. Some issues were there for some reason, some technical glitches, either the pre-test or the post-test or together data could not be actually partially or completely collected. After removing all of them, there were 229 altogether subjects whose IDs could be matched during the intervention pre and post assessments also. Thus, this particular assessment came up with certain findings and I request my colleague Dr. Tarun to take us through the findings and the discussion of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Tanmay, for simplifying the complex uh, study protocol for everyone. So now we will see how, how nurses have performed after the three months of the uses of the safe delivery app. So as shared by Dr. Tanmay in earlier slide, there were two criteria. One, one was we will, we will be going to review the scores on the scale of 0 to 24. And second one, one will be we are going to talk about the categories that were 
uh, poor, average, and good. So th these are the results for uh, the overall scores. Uh, you know, the, the scale of zero to 24. So uh, the maximum marks were 24 for the overall uh, questionnaire, but we can see in the baseline, uh, the knowledge scores were, uh, average score was seven. And when we com it compare it to uh, endline assessment, we can see in the endline assessment, the score was improved to 9.10, which reflects that, you know, there is improvement in knowledge, uh, which is also statistically significant uh, in, in, in point of your statistical, you know, calculations. If we further sub subdivide and see the how uh, each module wise they have performed, we can see there was an upward trend. Uh, in AMTSL earlier it was 3.06, but now it is 3.80. Similarly, in other module also we can see the upward you know shift uh, in in terms of the knowledge, which which actually strengthen the evidence that app actually improves the knowledge of the healthcare workers if if they use it uh, uh, on on frequent basis. Second set of results was the around the categories. So uh, we have divided the uh, participants into three categories, poor who have scored less than 50%, average who are scoring between 50 to 75%, and the good who scored more than 75%. In the baseline assessment, we, we have seen that across all the module, including overall performance, there is high number of uh, participants were categorized under the poor category. So uh, uh, we can see in the overall score, it is 95% of the people, you know, participants were scored less than 50%. When we uh, implemented Safe Delivery app for three months, we can see there is a shift uh, from poor to average. So it means their knowledge is improving. So in overall score, we can see uh, the poor category is now reduced to 75%, which means only 75% people are scoring less than 50%, which is earlier 95%, which is a quite high number. But now we can see that the average uh, scorers have increased. So from 5%, uh, now average scorers are increased to 21%, which means the people are scoring more between 50 to 75%, which is a good sign. And uh, earlier in, during the baseline assessment, no one has you know came into the good category and no one scored more than 75%, but now 4% of the participants you know, are there who, has, who's, who have scored more than 75%. If we further break it down, uh, the AMTSL, neonatal resuscitation, PPH, and preeclampsia, eclampsia, similar kind of trends we can see where there is, you know, a, 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 there is a decrease number from the baseline. There is a reduction in the number of the poor category, and we can see there is a shift from poor to average and average to good uh, in across all the category, which is which was very encouraging to see. And again, uh, all the results were statistically, uh, you know, significant in pre and post. As mentioned earlier, we have also checked the feasibility of safe delivery app, both the, both the positives and the challenges. So I'll, I'll share a few positives and the challenges with you, which, which were shared by the participant. First was it is available, uh, safe delivery app is available in the multiple languages, which is a good thing, which, which is shared, positive thing shared by the participant. Because in India, you know, various regional languages are being spoken. So to scale any application or any digital health solution, especially related to the training and the content, it needs to be available in all the regional languages. So it is already available in eight languages, which they found very useful and very easy to, you know, uh, scroll the content as per their as per their preference. Second was the audio visual aids uh, actually helped to make concept more clear and learning more interesting, make learning more interesting. So they have found, so in safe delivery app, there, there are various, you know, features available. One, and one of them is audio visual, you know, animated videos. Uh, other are action cards, practical procedure and drug list. But one of the mostly used feature is uh, uh, animated videos. And they found, participant found it very, very helpful because uh, we we have from our studies we have seen that you know uh, uh, that what you see uh, will retain uh, better instead of just reading through the material so they can see the animation and they can retain uh, the knowledge uh, uh, for longer time uh, through safe delivery app third was helpful for self learning and knowledge enhancement uh, so this app is uh, is different from other app which are available in india because most of the app are collecting the data and collecting uh, the data for you know monitoring and evaluation and also for the monitoring of the health healthcare services but this app is for the midwives for the nurses 
which don't monitor them it just you know they can use it for the self learning and knowledge enhancement which they have also felt i will take fourth and fifth point jointly so participants have shared that it has a certification process and they can also uh, do a self knowledge assessment so safe delivery app has a my learning platform where a user can assess their knowledge on their own and also can get the championship certificate which is signed by highest authority indian nursing council and also carries uh, continuous nursing education points which which makes it actually a win win situation it is free it is offline and also it gives you a cne credit hours which actually hel helping them in renewing their licenses sixth point was content for simple and easily understandable we have tried to you know make it very simple content is to the point uh, not lengthy not very elaborate so they can you know quickly uh, revise everything seventh was comprehensive drug list helpful for reference it has a drug list feature which is available on the home home screen so quickly in case of any emergency you just click on the drug list and you get all the information about the particular uh, drug you know doses indication contraindication adverse reaction which they have found very useful eighth was question changes with each round of test which help in brainstorming so app is very dynamic we have a pool of questions and pool of responses which changes after each use each you know level so it it actually uh, you know help them in brainstorming and think more deeply uh, when they were going through the championship certification few more positives uh, help to clarify doubts and correct practices uh, as uh, staff nurses come from different part of india and they come from different colleges safe delivery app actually help them help them in coming on a same page uh, on the labor room protocol because we have you know different teaching methodology across all colleges so safe delivery app actually uh, you know take them to you know on on same page on the on this front labor room protocols tenth is helped in revision during leisure time so definitely app as i mentioned is free and can be used anywhere they want so they have used whenever they are free which was a good thing helped in identification of complication so uh, it it has animated videos where we have shown them how any complication looks like so they can you know as i mentioned they can retain it better when they they are seeing the complication because regularly they are not experiencing the complications in the facility these are you know very less in number they are coming to the facility so they they it it actually improved the confidence of the healthcare worker on identifying the complication through the app content it is helpful in preparation of short theory sessions clinical discussion can repeat the test and check one's progress uh, each time they log in so it has a interactive dashboard where they can see their progress how they are they are performing on the safe delivery championship certificate path 14th is very interesting no special training or trainer needed for the operation very simple application you need only one hour or two hour of orientation and you are ready to go to use and explore all the uh, modules and you know features of the app so it was it was quite encouraging for the digital point uh, digital health point of view it gives intermittent notification or reminders to the user of the app so through our uh, channels uh, technical channels we can, we know that you know if some users are not using the app regularly we provide the notification and push notification and reminders to make you know uh, to uh, improve the engagement of the user on the application videos and action card for management of complications seems to cover all essential points as i mentioned to the point information is giving and only essential information is being given in the app uh, keeping drug as home page icon is easy to access and quickly draw our attention step by step information make it easy make it a fun learning so they they have enjoyed uh, you know the learning uh, platform a lot it's a pocket diary which can clarify doubt in user language whenever necessary so our idea behind designing the safe delivery app was that it is it is kind of a buddy for all the nurses which you know uh, they get the safe delivery app in their pocket in their mobile phones and information is there in the cloud and whenever they open the mobile phone they can access all the information which is there in the cloud for them and to you know make them more empower on these labor room protocols there are challenges as well as because it is a digital health tool uh, and and very we, when we started off it was in very early stages so there were few challenges you know shared by them i'll quickly take you through the those challenges first was the aged nurses are not interested so much so it is around the behavioral change kind of problem where you know uh, 
some there was a blockage of not learning new things but definitely there was a challenge that you know agent nurses were not that interested in knowing uh, the safe delivery app and they were seeing as a extra burden for them all the phc nurses are not having android phones it is in the low resource setting it is a quite cha huge challenge where you know android mobiles are sometimes not available for the phc nurses uh, but but uh, government of india is also providing unmoved tablets in the field for each and every facility so we have tried to integrate the app into the unmoved tablets in various state to overcome this barrier as well sometimes safe delivery app become monotonous uh, so adding frequent educational games in between would help to refresh the mind so it was a very good suggestion we have received from the field from the participants that the safe delivery app follows a standardized structure but they need uh, more games more you know kind of interactive platform inbuilt in the safe delivery app to uh, you know make it more interesting and you know would help them to refresh their minds so we are working on that theoretical or conceptual part need more collaboration uh, so safe delivery app right now uh, work as a you know uh, to provide to the point information at the time of emergency or at time of you know mentoring or trainings but few participants have shared that you know more uh, more elaborate information is required uh, around theoretical and conceptual parts especially physiology and anatomy part uh, which which was well taken uh, by us the app shuts down after repetitive use it is a technology related issue so many have experienced that you know uh, that app is getting shut down uh, after repetitive use if any question goes wrong then the user has to reattempt all the questions uh, from the beginning which which is bit time consuming so uh, for us a uh, labor room protocol is 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 the thing where you have to score 100% because it is related to saving the lives so so we have kept the standard of 100% but many have you know a few of the participants have shared that it should be reduced to 70 or 80% uh so that you know it it will be easy for them to get the expert level and ultimately achieving the championship certificate the rationale of the few questions was not up to the mark it create confusion so in the language versions you know many have uh, a few of the participants have shared that the rationale was not up to the mark because of the translation purpose but after this study we have rectified that issue and now you know it is available in various languages last challenge was few guidelines were different from what they have learned uh, so they have also given the example uh, but as i mentioned earlier the app is entirely you know uh, on the gui protocols and whatever they have learned during uh, uh, during their pre service education may be little bit different from what what gui protocols are there because those are the updated one so they have also you know shared this that you know few guidelines were different from the pre service education these are the key findings we we have uh, seen a upward shift uh, in the knowledge domain wise and overall at the end line and it improved significantly as opposed to baseline both in the absolute scores and also a upward shift in individual knowledge level from we can we have seen the shift from poor category to average category and from average category to the good category still domain wise and overall mean scores remain quite less than the maximum achievable or what we were expecting but it is a unfinished agenda which we are going to cover in coming studies and coming you know programs in india uh, for a specific module neonatal resuscitation we have found that it uh, participants have performed uh, you know poorly as compared to rest three modules which is again uh, a area where we need to explore more uh, through research studies for all the participants uh, you know to uh, to better know the app you just need to go on google play store or the itunes store and just just write safe delivery app and you can see the icon of you know the the nurse and you can download the app and correct the right language version as per the region and you will be able to access all the modules of safe delivery app along with the features again i want to thank uh, vidm and katherine for supporting us in this whole process and also i want to thank uh, dr tanmay mahapatra team lead cml team care india bihar and dr aboli gore team lead capacity building care india bihar and government of bihar without them it was not possible to conduct this research in the difficult one of the difficult part of india so we are very thankful uh, to care india as well and now uh, over to you katrin now we can move forward with the questions thank you thank you thank you very much dr tamai and dr tarun for that insightful presentation i am tempted to download this app immediately though i'm not in the midwifery fraternity 
And uh, it's interesting to know that the knowledge of the people using the app has gone up. The user experience also is good and it's still work in progress. You're ready to take back the feedback that you've received so far. Before we go to taking questions, there's a question that was asked in the chat box by Begum. He said, is the application suitable for iOS and Android? And the question was answered by Dr. Tamai. He said, yes. yes. At times with some specifications updates, flexibility is also there to adapt to other platforms. And two of the participants, Jane and Linda, confirmed that they, they have, they've already downloaded the app and they are using it. Since Linda is with us, may she tell us how her experience is using the app? Linda, are you there? Maybe she's not there, so we can continue. Let me turn off the recordings now. Can I ask a question? This is Jane. Yes. Thank you. And yeah, I have experience with the app and it works very nicely. Thank you. I've been using it in Florida, USA, <coughs> with the residency program that I currently teach in. So I'm going to. Uh, my question, gentlemen, was uh, really a lot of work. Thank you. It's very user friendly. But I, I, as an educator, I agree that sometimes the oper operationalization of these apps can be the issue. And I am very interested in that you specifically identified neonatal. Um, and as a person that does a lot of simulation, um, have you tried to integrate this within schools of nursing and midwifery where they do their learnings maybe on the app and then they go to the, the models, the, the, the technical simulation models of the moms and the babies to facilitate their learning? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Zeem, for asking the question. It is very relevant, and thank you for asking this question. Yes, uh, so we have integrated the app in many ways. So in India, it is being used as a job aid. It is used in the skill-based training, uh, and also it is being used in the uh, as as a learning tool for the educators and the uh, uh, the students. So we have recently integrated the app, uh, safe delivery app, in the formal uh, BSc nursing curriculum, where the app is mandatory for uh, all the students, and they need to complete the certification to get their degrees. Apart from that, we also, you know, sharing the teaching methodologies which we are having from the experience, global experience which we are having. In that, you know, we are integrating the app into the skill based training, where we are replacing the PowerPoint presentation with the videos. And also during the skill based training, we are asking them to use the app as a reference tool uh, because all the OSCE related steps are already there in a step by step manner in the app. So we are also using it as a buddy kind of thing where they can see the app and perform the OSCEs at the field level, at the facility level. We have the experiences from the Ethiopia and also in the India, we have just started uh, the skill based training and in, in June, July, we, we will start, uh, you know, those uh, teaching methodologies in India as well. Hope, hope I'm able to, you know, answer your question, Jane. All right, thank you. We are going to take these two last questions from Sheila. Sheila asks, for an international audience, please explain what education preparations nurses have. Have they studied midwifery, ob obstetrics, or neotanology? Neo neonatology, yes. Uh, yes, Sheila, so th thank you for the question. Yes, uh, in India, we have a BSc nursing program uh, where they uh, go through uh, all these uh, specific you know uh, the skills uh, the, the curriculums you have mentioned for the midwifery so earlier in india midwifery was not there it was ju just a bsc nursing program but recently government of india in 2019 launched uh, a midwifery initiative where they have created on the international icm standards we have created the midwifery curriculum and through that curriculum we are you know go creating npm educator national professional midwives and also midwifery educators in the field so midwifery is a uh, is a new thing for india in terms of the you know uh, in terms of the cadre but all these practices were covered in the bsc and msc nursing uh, uh, already by the Indian nursing council and government of india thank you very much for that response sheila i hope you're satisfied the next question is from Anne marie she's asking was the poorer response 
to neonatal resuscitation due to the resuscitation being more practical skills based, e.g. getting the chest to rise? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I guess Anne-Marie has, you know, uh, you know, explained it very well. Uh, definitely neonatal resuscitation is a little bit complex process. And sometimes, you know, the, the staff who is working in the labor room uh, is not, uh, you know, that skilled enough because they are not exposed to uh, neonatal resuscitation on frequent basis because in India, we have a vertical training around that. But uh, yes, it is a more skilled uh, work and more, you know, uh, complex than other complication managements. All right. Thank you very much for answering those questions. I think it's time for us to move on.